19, Tabor Spaney, and number two, Jasmine Jones. Tabor, the, the start of that game, that, that sort of reminded me of the Stanford game. You guys just came out absolutely flat. What was going on to open that game? Um, well, honestly, you got to give credit to Auburn. They came out, you know, fired up and were, you know, hitting all, all cylinders. Um, obviously, we didn't play pretty much beside probably a five- or seven-minute segment the way that we wanted to. And so, um, you know, we just got to go back to work. Megan, you went out briefly in the second half and then came back in in the second half absolutely on fire. What was your mindset coming back into that game? I just told me just to relax and you know, uh, make sure, you know, I just do everything I could to help the team and, you know, not, not have a bad attitude or anything like that and just don't get down on myself because I feel like after a while, I knew I was turning the ball over. Um, I wasn't doing the things to help the team out and I just got down on myself and uh, he just told me just to relax and just let the game come to me and just continue to play. So. Jasmine, your defense on the point guard turned that game around, to be honest. That that got Tennessee the momentum on defense it needed to go ahead. What did Holly tell you to do out there on defense? Um, just play hard. Um, that's about it. The song she could tell us to do is just go out and play, play defense like we know how. Is that a challenge for you to pick up smaller guards like that right now? Um, yeah, but um, got to get done somehow. Tabor, what did, what did you think of her defense? Did that sort of pretty much change the game in the second half? Well, I mean, it was great. Obviously, everyone, like she said, who came in, you know, it was the message we preached was play, you know, what are we doing? Let's play hard. And obviously, you know, when Jazz came in and, um, you know, she had some great defense and caused, you know, probably two or three steals and that kind of opened, you know, helped us get back into the game and then opened it up. And so, you know, it was huge for us. And she's so athletic. And so, you know, she can really guard one through five, and that's very helpful. Tabor, could you talk about the steal that Megan got and then the driving basket? That, it the was, one? Yeah, that, yeah, that just seemed like out of nowhere that ignited you guys. Was it, was it that big of a play for you guys, do you feel like? It was huge. And on, I think right before that media time, I was like, Megan, go get a signature Megan Simmons play. And, you know, that was, you know, how she's turned it up in this, you know, her junior year playing defense, and she got a steal and then made that and one. And, um, it was huge for us, and I think she probably came back and made one of her two, two. I don't know, back-to-back -back threes. Two. Yeah, and so that was huge. And um, so, you know, Megan, obviously, I think she would have liked to cut down a little on her turnovers, but the thing, she's such a competitor, and you could tell that she was getting frustrated with herself, and we just said, stay in it, stay in it. And, you know, obviously, you know, uh, she poured it on in the second so, half. So you told her that right before? <laughs> yeah, really did. I mean, I was just like, you know, that's just a signature Megan Simmons play. Only a few people in the country can, you know, she's so fast. And so, you know, she makes that steal and then goes gets that in one. And, you know, that was, it was huge. How much did that help you, Megan, that, that particular play? <clears throat> Normally, I usually get emotional after plays like that. But I was, for some reason, I wasn't even, like, that emotional. But I knew that, you know, we needed something to help ignite the team. And, I feel like when I got the N1, it really it got everybody off the bench. Even Holly was jumping on the sideline. So um, I just feel like, you know, with, with big plays like that, I mean, it just starts off and it gets the team going. And from then on, everything, it was just like a domino effect. Everything just, you know, continued to flow. Megan, the way this wasn't like the Stanford game is you guys got it together late in the second half. You got you stayed perfect in the SEC. Is that a big road win, especially for a young team, you know, when a player like Jasmine has to come in and play defense like that? It, it is. It is a big <coughs> I feel like every win that we get on the road is a big road win. And uh, I think, you know, with Jazz, you know, coming out and doing the defense that she did, I mean, I credit her because sometimes I feel like, you know, she, she forgets the potential that she has to get out there and do the things she knows best. And I feel like, you know, when she's reminded of the, the great things that she can do out there before and how great of a player she is, she, she plays to her potential. And I feel like, you know, she would be a great player. She just sticks to her game, plays her game, and just, you know, doesn't get down on herself. And she did an amazing job tonight, and I, I, I give her a lot of credit tonight. Jasmine, does that help your confidence to hear your teammates say that? Yeah, I hear it a lot. I just, <laughs> I don't know, I just need to go out every game and do, you know, what I can do. Does a game like this show you that you don't have to play offense to necessarily make a difference? You can make a difference on defense? Yeah. Offense wasn't really a, a key for me. Uh, defense was game, so you know, I just had to go out and play defense to the best of my potential. Tabor, could you talk about their, their, their zone press and their zone, just how it, it seemed like it really had you guys never really, you didn't look comfortable on a lot of offensive possessions against what they were doing you guys defensively. Yeah, I mean, we were just rushing. We had been practicing against that, you know, for the past few days. And, 
honestly, we had put in, we had our practice guys tracking us even more than they did, but I just felt like, you know, you know, they're very athletic, they're long, and they're very scrappy, and they, you know, they wanted it, and they came out with a lot of heart, and so I think we were just rushing it, and, you know, not just making an easy pass, we were trying to make a home run play almost, you know, on every possession, and trying to, you know, make the awesome pass, and, um, you know, we finally settled down and just kind of, you know, took what was there, and that helped us out. Megan, more that number, number three for, for Auburn and her height. Is that an adjustment for you to kind of to feel that out both on offense and defense? Um, I mean, it is an adjustment, but I mean, I never try to underestimate my opponent. I just play them as if, you know, they were somebody my height, even pretty grinder size <coughs> or anything like that. But, I mean, it's a good test to see, you know, am I going to play defense no matter who it is, no matter how small they are, how tall they are, you know, is my defense going to be consistent? And, uh, she gave us a little run for our money. You know, she came out there and she played hard. I mean, you know, I give her, you know, a war that really came out and she really gave it her all for her team. And I feel like she leads this team, the Auburn team, very, very well, you know. And she does an amazing job, you know, hitting her teammates and, and all of that. And she's becoming a scorer. And that's one thing that, you know, we were learned, we learned about her because the past yeah. couple of years she really didn't do that. And uh, uh, she's she's really come up and I, I commend her on, on the – the development that she's made as far as becoming a score, a, a, a point a point guard that can score. Mm -hmm. So I just give her a lot of credit for that. All right, thanks guys.